Hi, in this video we're going to look at the paper assignment together. Um, and you can find the paper assignment here on the left hand toolbar. Uh, and then there's the linked file. So we'll open that up and take a look together. Um, the, the, the paper is due by July 3rd, um, so uh, nearer to the end of class. Prior to that, on June 15th, um, you'll need to submit an article to me, a peer-reviewed article, um, that will um, that you'll use to write the paper. And so this beginning piece, um, the first piece of this is about just instructions for how to do the paper. So you're going to need to choose a psychology-related peer-reviewed journal article. And um, some of you may be very familiar with peer-reviewed journal articles. Others of you may not be. Um, essentially, peer-reviewed um, articles that appear in professional journals are research-based articles mostly, um, but you're going to be looking at research-based articles that a professional in the field has written and then that other professionals in the field have reviewed and have decided that the research is sound, that the writing is clear, and that this is worth um, sharing with the professional community. And so the professions you're going to be looking at are psychology, although some of you might look at psychology relevant um, nursing articles or things um, you know related fields in that way um, I've, I've included a link here uh, to our library and that is going to help you look at how to use the electronic databases to find peer-reviewed articles um, and it says in newspaper articles it shouldn't say that um, but we are going to be looking for peer-reviewed articles so um, so please do if you're not familiar with our databases please do use that link you do need to use the databases and that's for a couple of reasons most of the peer-reviewed articles many of them that you'll find online uh, will be behind a paywall and you won't be able to access the full article you need the whole article not just a summary of the article to write this and you're going to need to be able to provide it to me so you need a copy that you can download and then attach to the Dropbox alongside your paper. Um, so um, the databases will allow you to do that, and most online articles will not allow you to do that. Um, so, so you do need to use those electronic databases through the library. Um, the article has to be a research article where the researchers uh, collected data from studying human subjects. And so you're looking for something that has a method section in it, uh, the nice way of looking. Um, and the methods will tell you who did we study, how did we study them, what data did we collect, what measures did we use to get the data. Um, and, and that's going to be an important piece. Um, you don't want to use an article that's a case study article. So a case study is where they talked, you know, they, they um, uh, gathered information from one person or maybe two or three people, or you want them to have had a large sample of people that they studied simply because the nature of this paper will make it very difficult to do using a case study. Um, so be mindful of that. Um, you also will come across peer-reviewed articles that are what are called um, literature reviews, where the only thing they do in the article is read a bunch of other articles and then tell you what they say. They may even do something called meta-analysis, um, but they're still not telling you we studied these people. They're telling you we read these articles um, and, and this is what we conclude. Those are really important articles in psychology, but they don't work for this paper. All the articles, any research article will have a beginning piece, kind of an introduction that will do a little bit of it, but then there'll be a method section telling you how they collected their data. Um, so make sure you're looking for that. And remember that um, you're gonna submit this uh, article to me on June 15th or by June 15th. Um, and so you'll have an opportunity for me to say, yes, this works great, or no, this won't work. There are 10 points in play. Um, but you can earn the, even if your first article, your first submission is not uh, correct um, or there's a problem with it in some way, as long as you resubmit um, prior to July 3rd or prior to when you can submit your paper to me, then you can earn those 10 points. Um, so, so you're, you know, this opportunity to redo if you get it wrong. Obviously, the earlier you get me an article, the better it is for you um, because you get more time to hear back from me if there's a problem. All right, so there's directions here about um, details that I probably don't need to go over because you can read them. Um, that, uh, you know, essentially there's two parts to this paper. There's the summary where you're going to tell me um, what you understand about the article. It's really important when you do that that you read the article, you um, get a good sense of what's happening in the article, and, and you want to be able to say what was their research question. Um, how did they answer it, or how did they study it, um, and what did they find out? So those are the three basic elements of your summary. That should be about three quarters to a page long. 
um, for most of you, and it shouldn't have to be much less, more than that, and it probably can't be much less than that and be effective. Um, it's really important that you don't use quotes because you're summarizing. This has to be in your words. So don't quote the article um, and don't paraphrase the article. That, you know, that um, it needs to be in your words and, you know, you're going to read the article, you're going to put it aside, and then you're going to write your summary. And that's a really important piece of this. The second half of the paper is um, your response to the article, but the response is very specific. You need to critique the research methods in the article. So you need to talk about what, what things did they do to collect data or what things did they do in choosing the people that they studied that you thought were effective and led to valid or correct or accurate data. And then what things did they do that you thought were not so good that, that may have led to problematic data in some way. And you don't need to do both. You can tell me just good things or just bad things, um, but you need to be able to support that and explain your ideas. Um, you also need to include one specific idea for future research and, and that you're going to come up with a new question that is related to the question that they asked in your article. Um, but that, that um, is new research in some way, right? So not just a redo. You can tell me how you'd like, you would have liked to improve their research, right? But that's part of your critique. This is a, a brand new question that um, you find yourself wondering about because you read this article. Um, you'll see also here um, that there are links to help you with APA style. You need an APA style cover sheet, um, section headings, and uh, an APA style reference list. And so um, you'll use these links um, to help you with that. The internet also will help you with that if you just want to Google APA style. Um, in addition, Microsoft Word has a template that is APA style, and you can take a look at that as well if you want to. Um, and the breakdown of points, right, it's 150 points. Um, 70 of that's for the summary, 70 of that is for your response, and then 10 points for APA style. And that's in addition to the 10 points you'll earn for submitting the article to me. Okay, so if you have questions about the paper, always feel free to email me. Um, you do need to hand this in on time. That uh, there is a reduced grade that's listed on the syllabus. There is a deduction of points for every day that it's late. And then I can't accept it um, after, I think on the syllabus it says July 7th. I need it in time to grade it prior to uh, when your exams get handed to me. Okay, um, but there is a, 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 a you know, reduction in grade if you hand it in late. So plan to get it in for July 3rd. All right, um, and so hopefully these videos have been useful to you um, and any questions you have, there is, as we said in the um, Blackboard uh, formatting video, you have that practical questions forum where you can post questions that are kind of like raising your hand in class. Use that for questions that other people might have and essentially for questions that aren't private in any way. Um, if you have a question that's private or that is specific to you, then email me to ask that question. Okay. All right.